Yo guys, what is going on? Welcome back to a brand new video. Today I've got my WrestleMania 33 predictions. Can't wait for WrestleMania, to be honest. Yes, the matches aren't the best matches we could ever wish for, but it's WrestleMania and I'm excited for it. So, we're going to go through the card. I'm going to give you guys my predictions. It'll be quite a long video because there are a lot of matches, obviously like 13, I believe. So let's go through these matches. Comment down below what you guys think as well, if you agree with me, if you disagree with me, if you agree with me on like mostly everything, but there's a couple ones you disagree, tell me down below in the comments and all that. And if this video gets like 40 to 50 likes, I'll be releasing maybe next week my top 10 best wrestlers of all time, my top 10 favourite wrestlers, not, my, not the top 10 best, my, my top 10 favourite wrestlers of all time. So um, yeah, let's go through the match card and... Uh, and let's give you guys my prediction. So let's for, let's start off with uh, Austin Aries versus Neville, which apparently is on the kickoff show on the website I'm on. I don't know if it is. I hope it's not. It shouldn't be. It's it's, it's a good match. And by the way, guys, I got my hair cut. If you guys haven't realised, it's looking it's looking okay, but a bit bit short. Um, anyway, Neville versus Austin Aries. Um, for this for me is quite an easy prediction. In my opinion, I'm going to go with an A double victory at WrestleMania to be the new. King of the Cruiserweights. We move on to the next match, which is Alexa Bliss versus all the available SmackDown women, which includes Mickey James, Becky Lynch, Carmella, Natalia, Naomi, Alexa Bliss herself, and any returning superstars. We could have maybe uh, even Marie return, maybe Emma. But I know, she, I know. Before you guys say, "Oh my God, she's on Raw," Emmalina was on Raw. Maybe she's going to return and beat Emma in on SmackDown, but we'll see. Maybe not, because I think right now I do think that Raw actually need more women than SmackDown. Because Raw have just four four women, and they just do the cycle. I know SmackDown, I suppose, as well as four. Anyway, I'm going to go with... I'm going to go with a Naomi win for WrestleMania. I know it's not the most crazy one, and it's not what you guys maybe want to hear, because I'm kind of going with the obvious one, but... I'm going to go with Naomi because the I, I see quite a lot of heels winning and we need to get a babyface win somewhere. So I'm going to go with Naomi to win the SmackDown Women's Champion. The next match is the Andre the Memorial Battle Royal um, featuring superstars like Big Show, probably Braun Strowman. I think there's like loads of tag teams are in it. Uh, no, Braun Strowman's definitely in it. Sorry, yeah. Um, and there are loads of tag teams. Mojo Rawley's in it, Dolph Ziggler's in it, and uh, maybe a returning... Imbala, uh, maybe Sam Sami Zayn will probably be in it as he's got nothing to do on the show. I don't. Samoa Joe has nothing either, so maybe Samoa Joe will be in it as well. But I'm gonna go with a Braun Strowman win in the Andre the Memorial Battle Royal. We move on to the Raw Tag Team Champion match: Luke Gallows, Carl Anderson defending the Raw Tag Team Champions against Cesaro and Sheamus, and Enzo Amore and Big Cass. Um, I see a big WrestleMania moment here. I see I see Enzo and Cass winning their first ever championship in the WWE, um, and I, th I see it being a bit of a special moment. Now Enzo is getting a lot of my nerves. I used to really thought the tag team was great, he enjoyed him, made me laugh, and now he just seems to be a bit of a heel. Kind of, he, what he does is a bit of a heel, you know. He just he just insults any everyone and for no reason most of the time. So he's a bit heelish. Um, who knows, maybe there's a, there's a heel turn for them in the future, but for now, I'm going to go with a nice big babyface win, and they're going to get their first championships in WWE, and it's going to be a special uh, WrestleMania moment. So yeah, Big Cass and Enzo Amore are going to win that, in my opinion. We move on to Baron Corbin versus, I was going to say Dolph Ziggler there, no, versus Dean Ambrose. Dean Ambrose is defending his Intercontinental Championship against Baron Corbin. So, no stipulation for this match, but I'm a bit surprised considering Baron Corbin tried to murder Dean Ambrose on SmackDown. Yeah, that's right. He tried to murder him. Um, yeah. Enough said, really. Murder. Um, anyway, I, uh, I see... I see um, ah, I've, got, I've been going back and forth, back and forth on this. But in my opinion, Dean Ambrose isn't doing anything really special with the belt, and I think Baron Corbin should get a push. He's good, really good. Um, well, he's good. I think he can get really good in the future. So we're going to go with a Baron Corbin win here, and uh, he will get his first championship in the WWE. Well, not counting NXT. So yeah, Baron Corbin will win that for me. The next match we've got is John Cena 
and Nikki Bella versus the Mizumaris in a mixed gender tag match. Um, this seems to be very obvious. I kind of, I really do want Miz to win it. I'm a, I'm a Cena fan, but I'm a bigger Miz fan, so I would like to see Miz and Maurice win this. But I think it's just going to be another kind of little WrestleMania moment, a nice, a, a, a good, good babyface win to get all the crown. Oh yay, you know. So that's what I see happening. And who knows? Lots of people have been like, oh yeah, John Cena is going to propose to Nikki at the end of this match. Who knows? That's not really a prediction, but I'm going to go with John Cena and Nikki Bella to win this match. Uh, will it be a squash? I don't know. Are they going to get a lot of time for this match? Don't really think so. Um, but I don't want to see John Cena just... I just I don't want to see Miz being a job, being jobbed out to John Cena, who is leaving After Mania to go film a movie. So, yeah. If it was me, I would make Miz, I'd make Miz win, and this could really be his push for the for the World Heavyweight Championship or for the WWE Championship again. That'd be great. You know, Miz has improved so much since his last reign, and I really think it'd be awesome for him to get that push. But I see Cena and Nikki winning that. We move on to one of the matches I am most excited about. It's probably my third most yeah, my, the third match I'm most excited about. I'm gonna say, and that is Chris Jericho versus Kevin Owens. So Chris Jericho is defending his United States Championship against Kevin Owens at WrestleMania. As you guys know, best friends turned bit enemies. Well, Kevin Owens says they were never best friends, but anyway. Um, I'm going to surprise a lot of you guys here in this, and I'm actually going to go with a Chris Jericho win. Now, before everyone says, oh my god, that's so stupid of you, Chris Jericho is leaving afterwards. He's not actually leaving straight away, he's actually leaving in May, which gives him a little bit of time. To, to stick around and um, and then maybe lose it on the, on, on the Monday following WrestleMania or maybe the week after that or something like that. But I think I think it's going to be the Chris. It's, it's going to be another kind of WrestleMania moment, and Chris Jericho will hopefully get that win. Um, we move on to the next match, which is the four fatal four way for the women's championship for the Raw Women's Championship with. Bailey defending a championship against Nia Jax, Sasha Banks, and Charlotte. Sorry, Charlotte Flair. Um, who do I see winning this? Who do I see winning? This is a match that I haven't put too much thought into about, in, in about, about it. Who's going to win? I don't see it being Nia Jax. I just don't see it being Nia Jax. WrestleMania's big. WrestleMania. Rest, I don't know. I don't know. Not Nia Jax. Um, probably not Charlotte. Probably not Charlotte. I'm going to go with Sasha Banks' win. Turning heel, possibly. Very possible. Very, very possible. But I'm going to go with a Sasha Banks win. We move on to the next match, guys, which is probably the match I'm most looking forward to just because AJ Styles is in it. Now, yes, he could have got a better opponent. I 100% I agree. I think it's going to surprise a lot of people, though, and I think they're going to put on a really good match. Um, but yeah, AJ made a good point actually on SmackDown, saying that this is no stipulation, there's no tables, no chairs, and it's not hell in the cell, it's not no disqualification, you know, it's it's just an actual proper wrestling match. Shane better not win this, and that's why, in my opinion, the obvious pick to win this is the best current wrestler, in my opinion, right now, AJ Styles. Um, we move on to the next match, which is Roman Reigns versus The Undertaker. Now, if this match is obviously not going to go on last, okay? So, if Roman does defeat The Undertaker clean without, with, not, like, not turning heel, I think the crowd is, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a very, 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 like, bitter moment. The crowd are going to, like, probably not, they're not going to riot, but they're going to be angry, and they're not, they're not, they're going to be, they're going to be probably booing, and it's just going to put a whole bad vibe for the last couple matches left on the show. So... We'll see, but my my heart wants Undertaker. You know, my heart is telling me Undertaker. But this up here, knowing you know how 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 much Vince McMahon likes big sweaty men, technically Undertaker's, but never mind. Um, I, just storyline booking as they've made this match, okay? And we just have to live with it. Storyline booking. I don't like Roman, but if the, the plans are they want to make Roman the face of the company to replace Cena, so if if you just take that into 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 fact in, into consideration, it makes sense that they make Roman go over on Undertaker. Um, why I don't want to see Roman win the streak twenty two three and one something like that. Um, yeah, if it's like if it's if it's one loss, it's okay. He's only lost one time, 
you know, you can say that, you know, and it still sounds incredible, but it just puts a big damper on things if you're like, oh, you got two losses, you know, two is double of one, so, obviously, but like, it's just, I would, it would, it would kind of just tarnish that streak at the end, you know what I mean? It would kind of tarnish it, and I really don't want to see that, but that said, I'm going with a Roman Reigns win. Oh, please, please, I've never wanted to be so wrong on a prediction before, but yeah, as I said, I think Roman Reigns will get the win. We move on to the next match, which is a non-sanctioned match. So does, it, does Is it a match or not? I don't know. Is there going to be a ref? I don't know. Um, is there going to be are they, who, the winner? Is he going to pin? I don't know. I don't know. Um, but yeah, Seth Rollins versus Triple H. One of the most predictable what, matches, in my opinion, and that is a very, very easy um, Seth Rollins victory. It, it has to be. It makes no sense for Triple H to win. Um, Seth's babyface has been quite shit. Okay, he just his babyface turn has been pretty awful. So I think he needs this win way more than obviously Triple H, who's part timer, and I think right now he's just trying to put other wrestlers over. So that said, Seth Rollins is going to get the W. We move on to um, what I think should have been the main event because Royal Rum uh, Randy Orton won the Royal Rumble, which means you main event WrestleMania, not you go on second to last or third to last no you main event it but that said Randy Orton versus Bray Wyatt Bray Wyatt is the champion going into this match and he's defending against Randy Orton now this could go of two ways lots of people are saying Randy will get the win here and uh, and I at first I was like no no Randy's gonna put over Bray 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 needs to win this you know Bray could be a great champion but the more I started thinking about it the more I'm like but Randy won the rumble, and he didn't really deserve it. He, like he didn't not he did nothing to to deserve winning a rumble. So that said, maybe WWE are stupid enough to put the title on him. Uh, and you know, as I said, I've chosen quite a lot of heels to win here. Um, well, not actually that much. I I don't know. I'm so like it's some. Oh, I don't know. Who do I see winning this? I do. I just see Randy getting the win though. I really don't. I really don't know. But uh, you know what? Let's. Let, I'm. I'm just gonna go with it. I'm gonna go Bray Wyatt. Bray Wyatt to win this. Come on, Bray. Yeah, Bray Wyatt. Bray Wyatt to win this. And our last match, guys, in as well the second or joint first most predictable match in my opinion, Barack Lesnar versus Goldberg. Um, Goldberg's the champion going into this match as well. Um, but yeah, Goldberg is done after this, I'm pretty sure. Goldberg maybe will return once a year, twice a year to do a big showcase, a bit, you know, a big match against, against I don't know, another legend or a, a youngster to put him over. But, well, he's not really going to put him over because he's never going to lose, is he? Um, but no, consider, like, honestly, it makes no sense for, for Goldberg to win. I don't think anyone really wants to see Goldberg to win, and it just makes a lot of sense for it to be Brock. Uh, I don't want to see either part-time hold the championship, just to clarify on that. But uh, I'm going to go with a Brock Lesnar win. Fairly, fairly simple in my opinion on that one. So there we go, guys. That is all the matches done. Tell me once again, guys, your predictions down below in the comments. If you agree with me, tell me. If you disagree, tell, tell me, guys. Um, all that. I'm really, really uh, excited to see what you guys have to say and what you guys think is going to happen at WrestleMania. And yeah, thank you so much guys, if you have enjoyed it, smash a like, remember if you can smash like 50 likes, 40 likes on this video, I'll release in like a week's time, my top 10 favourite wrestlers of all time. Thank you guys for watching, take care, bye for now.